some things that we do that may not be so pleasant it may not be what we want but because of how we want to see our hair thrive we find ourselves doing those things and sometimes it seems silly a lot of people don't understand but trust me if you know where someone is coming from and where they are going or where they are headed then you'll be forced to put yourself in their shoes and see why or the reason why they are doing certain things that they do i came across this video and i discovered it was about natural hair and i was so pleased i i had to watch because we think that we are all alone in all that you have gone through in our natural hair journey but you need to listen to some people to really know that you are not alone a lot of people have come through that path that you are right now and um, they've been able to pull through they've been able to succeed in taking care of their natural hair i will really want you guys to listen to this lady i'm going to drop a link to the full video where you can watch and listen to all that she said so i want you guys to just take a few minutes and listen to this short part that i've cut out then i'll come back i've picked out like a number of highlights that i want to touch on so if you're struggling with hair growth then please um watch this and then i'll come back to pick on those points that i've talked about I started having to, um, every now and then, explain some things about my hair 20 years ago when I decided that I was going to go natural. There are some spiritual threads that run rampant through for me and for many women of all hair types and every color and every uh, race, every hair texture. There is such a security issue that can be tied to our hair, particularly for black women in a culture that historically has not valued all of our curly headed glory. As you're growing your natural hair out, you have to figure out how to do styles that are going to protect the direction you're going. If you decide to keep on straightening your new growth, straightening your new growth so it keeps on matching your relaxed hair, I promise you're gonna damage your new hair, which is, that's, that's contrary to your whole goal right there. Now, for some of you, that might be, your goal might not be to wear nat to wear natural styles. Your goal might just be not to have relaxer anymore. So if you don't mind training your natural hair under there to be straight, just know you're gonna ha have a hard time doing twists. You're gonna have a hard time doing curly styles because your hair will have been so conditioned to being straightened with heat, pressing combs and that sort of thing, that you're not gonna be able to have coils at the end of your hair and that sort of thing. Does that make sense, y'all? So you gotta wear protective styles that go in the direction you're headed, which means you might have to wear some styles that are not your preference. And that's what I did for the first five years or so. Um, I wore styles that weren't my preference, but they were headed in the direction that I'm going. They were supporting that. If you get braids and extensions over time, that's gonna wear on your, your hair. If it's tight, you'll see a lot of people who don't have a hairline. That's because that hair, the, the um, braids and extensions have been pulling on their hair. Anything tight on your head is not working in your favor. Anything superficial um, that's not natural that you've added to your hair, you just run the risk if you're not careful, okay? If you're gonna add things to your hair, you have to be careful. Now again, only you know what your, what your goals are. I knew what my goals were and I was determined to get there. So they would be here, then as my hair got longer, my twist would be here, then my hair got longer and my twist would be here, okay? So those twists would stay in my hair for about four to six weeks at a time. So for four to six weeks, I would not comb my hair, wash my hair, because it was in the twists. So for the past 15 years of ministry, a lot of people, maybe you, have even noticed that you've seen my hair in those twists a lot. And it'll be up in a ball on top of my head and my hair is in those two strand twists all over my head i've worn my hair like that so much for years now because it is what is called a protective style you've got to figure out a style that allows you to leave your hair alone but that's one of the keys that i wanted to tell you what can you do to have a style you enjoy while leaving your hair alone you've got to leave your hair alone for those of us with curly hair, combing it every day is antagonistic to the goal of growing out your hair. 
Brushing it every day, washing it every other day dries your hair out. As women of color with curly hair, we don't thrive by manipulating our hair every day, every week, um, day in, day out, straightening, drying, blow drying, all that stuff. It doesn't, it's not helpful to your hair. You gotta find some style that, again, depending upon your goals, my goal was to grow my hair out in the most healthy way. So for me, I found a style that even though at the beginning of it, it wasn't my favorite style, what it did was allow me to leave my hair alone for four weeks at a time at least. And then after about four weeks of those small twists being in my hair, I'd take the twists out and my hair would have kind of basically been molded into a wavy kind of curly style. So most of what you've seen of me over the past 15 years has been either in the twists or I took the twist out and my hair was all curly and um, I'd wear it that way for about a week. Then I'd go back, wash my hair, comb it out, condition it real good, put it back in the twists, and I'm done for another four weeks. Does that make sense? So if you saw um, War Room, my hair was in a twist out. That's what it's called when you take the twist out. What protective styling also does is help to retain the moisture that is in your hair. So the more your hair, like I rarely, I don't wear my hair out like this, and I'll tell you about this in a moment, but I don't wear my hair out like this often at all. And the reason why is because as our hair is exposed to the elements, and as our hair has to be combed when it's in a style like this one, that over time, not just one month, not just two months, but over time, if you're constantly, constantly wearing your hair out and it's exposed to the elements and those sorts of things, it's going to be damaging to our curly textured hair. If you're going to do your own hair, or you're gonna have someone else do it, you gotta be super patient with natural textured hair. So one thing that I picked from what she has said is that you've got to wear styles that match the direction you're going. I feel it made a lot of sense. If you always flat iron your hair, then twist is not a style that you really want to go, to go for. So you have to pick a style that helps you to maintain that direction. Then if you're wearing your hair in its coily form, you have to pick a style that goes in that direction. I also like the fact that she mentioned that she keeps her hair like four to six weeks before she wash, deep conditions, detangle and all that stuff. So that is protective styling. She talked so much about protective styling, wearing that twist she always wears. And honestly speaking, for the longest time I've known Priscilla Shara, she always has this twist on. She always, you would think her hair was locked. She always has this twist on or she will, you know, losing it and it will become a twist out. So I know that I can testify to that because I've been watching um, our summons for a long time now. So I know I can testify to that she's correct. Then one big thing that I really loved was that she wore styles that were not a preference, but was leading her in the direction she was headed. She has been wearing twists for up to five years. Though she would have loved other styles, but this was going to help her to grow out her hair. This was going to help her to uh, retain length and she wanted that, so she had to do it. The same thing with what I'm doing. I'm going for six month protective style challenge because I want to have like, the most length retention. So let nobody tell you what to do. Make sure you are doing that thing that will help you achieve your goal. Another point she mentioned was that anything superficial, anything added to your hair is a risk. So you have to be very cautious about it. So if you are going to be using all those added things to your hair, you have to be careful. You just know that there's a risk to it. So if you're willing to take that risk, by all means, take the risk, but know the kind of risk that you're willing to take. She mentioned something that um, for those of us with coily hair, combing, brushing, manipulating your hair every day is antagonistic to the goal of us growing our natural hair. So what this means is that we have coily hair. There's no change in that. That is the natural hair that God has given us. So you combing it, brushing it, manipulating it every single now and then is going to be very detrimental. It's like shooting yourself in the foot because you're not going to retain length. Your hair is going to be at a particular length for as long as you choose to keep doing the same thing that is not helping you to grow out your hair. 
then one last thing she said that i love so much and i want this to be a take home for a lot of us is that you might not like the process uh, to which you're trying to retain length or grow out your hair the process might not be pretty but you need to ask yourself what are your goals is it worth it if it's not worth it then you don't have to do it so i loved the points she raised so much and it encourages me even at the times when i feel discouraged i'm encouraged i want to continue going this um video might just be for one person who is so fed up be encouraged a lot of us have passed through this stage some of us are still going through some of the stage so do make sure you get to watch it so that you understand where she started from it helps you to understand a lot of things trust me if you keep an open mind you will see that she's probably not the first person you will hear share her natural hair story in the way that relates to you that is all i have for you for this video i hope you learned something from it i hope you're motivated i don't think that everybody of god is figured out no I myself have not got it all figured out but i'm just trying the best i can to do the best that is good for my natural hair so if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to the channel like this video share this video with your loved ones and i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye